So here's the progress so far. We've put our uh, splitter here. So I've got the main hose coming from the timer. It splits here into two hoses, which run around and up. One of them goes all the way up and joins to the soaker hose. And the other one goes to our pressure regulator here with filter before it comes out then to this micro drip stuff. So it's really pretty straightforward. You just cut it to the length you want, push it on, and then we'll screw them up into place. So we'll have a row along here in the middle of each one of the panels, five of them. And then we'll have another one going along the top. So it's very easy to install really. Um, just cut the length you need, push it on and done. Well, hi there guys. So uh, this is part um, two of our living wall video. So this is what we've got so far. Um, in part one, we built up this with the felt pockets. We've got the uh, um, polycarbonate plastic backing to protect the wall from getting wet. We've got a soaker hose rooted, make sure all the pockets get wet. Um, now I want to add in some misters and a timer. So I've got from Gardena, um, a timer which you'll see connected up over here so this is our timer that will control uh, when we're going to water the garden um, so we'll be able to set a timer on this um, for several times a day at regular intervals it will turn on and make sure that um, our wall gets wet because these pockets are quite small so they don't hold a lot of water and they're not gonna hold a lot of substrate, so it will dry out quickly. Um, so it'd be a good idea to have this uh, automatic watering system. Uh, and then in the bottom here, we've got the um, sphagnum moss. So this is here just to, um, one, beautify the gutter a little bit. Uh, we'll get stuff growing in it eventually. And two, it is um, also gonna increase the humidity around here when the, when the rain stops. Uh, or the, um, the irrigation stops, the sphagnum moss will, will continue to evaporate off some water. So the plants around the bottom there are gonna be quite humid. Um, so next is uh, the misters. So from Gardena again, I've got their um, 13 millimeter hose. Um, and then we've got a bunch of connectors. We've got the pressure reducer, um, stop the hoses getting blown off. And then these are basically the micro misters. So these will be positioned at regular intervals. I think we've got basically two rows of five of them. So they're gonna be kind of like uh, mounted like this and they will mist or maybe they'll be this way. We'll have to test it out, but they are basically going to mist um, everything. I think they'll go this way. They will uh, mist everything at the same time. So as well as the backs and the pockets getting irrigated, We'll also have these misters on, which are going to, again, increase humidity around the, the plants as well. Um, so basically, we've got two rows of these, just like we've got two rows of the, um, well, actually, we've got three rows of the soaker hose, three, three and a bit. It didn't quite go all the way. Uh, so what I like about these Gardena ones, I did get some misters previously in the garden. They got on Lazada, but... Um, the hose will tend to blow off. So this has got a clamp on it. So it will hold the hose in place. Um, so that's quite nice. And then um, I also got these, which basically will hold them in place on the wall. So you can see here, it will, it will clamp the pipe, but also it has a hole for the mister to come out. And it's got a screw hole on it as well. So if we just open up this. So this will fit over like that and we can screw it into the polycarbonate and that will hold the mister in place there on the wall so um really nice kit um it, we've also got other connectors here we've got this which is a blanking piece for the end um to stop the water coming out the end of the pipe um we've got tees and also um in here somewhere as well i've got some right angle elbows and i've also got um, some other connectors uh, here so this will split the hose um, 
for the soaker hose and the micro drip irrigation. So I'm gonna get all of this set up now. Um, I'll give an updated video in a little while. So I've got everything connected up now. Um, this is our pressure reducer. So um, the drippers, the misters, and the, uh, the hose, the connections, they all work uh, best at a certain pressure. You know, if the pressure's too high, there's a chance that we can blow the hoses off these connectors. So basically, we have the, the main water line coming in, which is mains water pressure. And this will drop the pressure down to, I think, 1.5, two bars, something like that, suitable for use with the actual irrigation system. So there's our pressure reducer and then the pipe goes up. We've got a splitter here where it then comes off and goes sideways to our uh, mister. So basically we've got four, I think, uh, one, two, three, four, five misters along here. And then we've got four along the top, they're kind of staggered. So they're not directly in front of each other. You see, we've got one up there and the other one down here. So, um, then our soaker hose, it all comes back to the hose splitter here that then goes back to the uh, tap. And at the tap, we've got the um, timer. So the timer's set three times a day. It will come on for half an hour. And uh, you can also manually turn it on. So we'll do that now Let's give you a demo. So if the water's on, you can hit this button here on the timer and it will turn everything on and it'll turn it on for basically um, 30 minutes so you can choose how long you want it to be on for so default is 30 you can twist this change the amount of time that it will um, stay on for so after 30 minutes it'll automatically turn off As you can see now here it's turned on you see the fog coming out of the the misters um, so basically that will help to cool everything down here. So in the afternoons when we get a little bit of direct sun on here at around 4 p.m. Um, just to cool everything down, the, the misters will help cool it down. And at the same time, we've also got the irrigation coming out of the drip hoses there. So uh, that basically is the system. Um, next will be obviously then getting the plants and putting the plants in there. So plants don't actually need a lot of substrate. Um, the substrate is just something that holds the nutrients. So the um, soil is just holding the nutrients. So what we can do actually with this system um, is the pockets are small. We can't really fill them with soil and plant the plants inside the soil. So what we need is something that's going to hold the moisture and hold the nutrients. So each one of the plants will be wrapped in um, a felt and inside that felt we'll have a little bit of sphagnum moss and also a little bit of cocoa quass some organic material um, just to hold the moisture and provide a little bit of nutrition but most of the nutrition is going to come through um, feeding them with a fertilizer so once a, a week or so you know we need to provide some fertilizer to the plants and we can do that either through the water system through the irrigation system we can put some plant feed sticks along the top and it will you know soak in and it will run down and uh, basically feed the plants so after it's turned off you see it still continues to um, not spray like a mist but come out like that just because there's still some pressure inside of the um, inside of the system so every day for half an hour that will come on irrigate everything and then turn off three times a day. So that's the complete irrigation system for our living wall. The wall's not getting wet uh, behind there, so we're not gonna get any damp on the inside or mold growing behind this. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Next stage will be to uh, plant the wall. Um, so that'll be the, the fun part.